Well guys, I think Bob has arrived. Bob! You got some action today! I got, I've got a customer, I do a lot of air cools. Not, okay. Not a lot of water cools. Okay. Home. Anyway, he showed up last week and I was just got six hands around. There was people coming in. He waited on. Yeah. And he told me that today, he says, man, he says, it's always like that. He says, no, just every once in a while. So. <laughs> I think this one probably needs an oil pan. He said he has the oil pan, yeah. and I asked him, well, do you have the uh, gasket or RTV or something? He's like, no. I'm like, well, he probably does, but I think he ran down to get some oil or the RTV. Because he has the pan, I'm like, oh, yeah. I hope he's getting the right oil. Yeah. <laughs> he seems to like the car, so this I, I think he will. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. It doesn't, I, I love driving it, that's for sure. Yeah. Yep. This is a car I built for a customer two years ago. I drove it to Portland to the upholstery shop after I did it. He didn't want to do the body. He just says, no, just mechanically get it done. So it was a raised car. Really? Yeah, it was four inches raised. Wow. I had to lower it, did all of the suspension, and it had a usable motor in it. And I, I said, dude, I says, I can do it quick and dirty. We can just do the top end of this motor if it's if, if the rods are nice. Yeah. I put a top end on it. He bought new heads for it. I told him, I said, I'm going to have a reason around valve heads. He says, I'll buy new heads. <laughs> so anyway, and we had chrome wheels on it. And I I drove to the upholstery shop in Portland. He lives in Portland. Got the upholstery done. It's, it's to die for. It's, it's professional stuff. And anyway, it's, it's just T, TMI upholstery, but it's done really nice. Yeah. And I, all the window rubbers I did. And well, what's, he's why is, driving it back here uh -oh. to me to do the braking oil. And I told him, I says, dude, you can't have more than 300 miles on it. We've got to put some miles on it to break it in. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, it pooped on him uh, in rush hour traffic oh, coming no. out of Beaverton. Uh -oh. He calls me up. He's pretty excited. And I'm going, oh, no, what did I do? And uh, it turned out we put a brand new distributor in from one of the one of the shops in Portland. It was a parts supplier in Portland. Yeah. And I called him up and I said, this distributor pooped on us. And then he <laughs> says, oh man, uh, the tune-up stuff that they're putting in those new distributors is junk. And I went, well, thanks, you know, for telling me that. Yeah. And the, uh, I think the condenser pooped out on it. Anyway, I put in an old 009 of my own and, and got it running. And it's been sitting here for about a year because... What? He he was gonna he's got a he's got a nice '67 coupe yep. that's been sitting outside. And he says, "Oh, Bobby he says they're all original, nice car," and he's gonna bring it down on the tow truck. He, he won't drive it because it's been sitting too long. And he wants <laughs> to bring it to me to replace everything. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the rain season sets in and we don't do that, so it sets all winter and all summer. And I call, finally called him up. And I says, "Gary, I says I need tags on this car if you want me to keep driving it." He says, oh yeah, I got him. <laughs> but I love the guy to pieces. And then last Friday, the 69 the beat, I, I was looking. That's I was, an original paint car. Really? That minus two? Huh? Is minus it really? Two. Yeah, I, I made That's like that. I have a before and after video of how, how, how I made it. And I didn't know. I didn't know that back then it was a different base coat where the clear is mixed with the paint. Because I was getting so much paint off with my pads. I'm like, what is going on? So it was originally, I was like, oh, I didn't know that, I, so. I have painted before, and, and I've got a... I got you. I, I had the good fortune to go and spend the summer with my brother in Europe. He got sent to a, to a NATO base in Southern Holland in 1970. Gotcha. He had a, a 55 bug sunroof. Told him, I says, get me a bike and we'll go touring. He scored me a 1943 military Harley. <laughs> and that was my first bike. And... Uh, Anyway, I redid the Harley and rode it around. Oh, it was a kick. And uh, came back here and we had our first fake gas crunch. And right here in oh, Beaver, yeah. I bought a 62 Beetle that somebody stuffed a 1500 into. And this was in 1970, so the 1500 was like two years old. Heck yeah. And uh, this is a doctor and he says, I dummied up. He says, I ran it out of oil. And he says, I threw number three rod clerk out, <laughs> out of the block. And it would start up and run on three cylinders with a rod hanging out the block. Holy. Which it was off the crank. But anyway. Let's go. Can we look at this coupe? The blue that's coupe. the turbo diesel in that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a. It uh, it came without an engine in it. It was a diesel car. Okay. But it was a non-turbo. I don't know why more 86s. I I haven't even seen any 86 Golfs with turbos on. Why they didn't turbo them? No. But they I... they were turboing the Jetta in '83. Yeah. And uh, anyway, it's got so, an 83 turbo diesel Jetta motor in it. Well, what's wrong with this car? Why is it? Why it needs is it, a title. needs a title. To finish it. It's another project. Oh, gotcha. This is a project. This is a project. <laughs> My rat rod sitting back out on the car. I, I saw that project. one. Like, this car, I told you about the square back that stayed here for two years. Yep. That was the first one. He says, you want to build a, a square back for me? And I said, sure, man. I love to build old cars. Let's do it. He brings me the car and he says, the motor's free, but it turns over. And I went, okay. I says, being as it still has electronic fuel injection on it, which is the death knell. I says, first thing I'm going to do is check the fuel tank. So I popped the cinder out of it. It's got an inch and a half of rust on it. Oh, says, geez, this does man. not look good. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I says, so I'll run the compression on it and see what kind of motor you got in it. I pulled the spark plug wire, looked down in through the tin with my dentist mirror and shined the light in there. I could see the tip of the plug, but it's the rest of its mouse nest. <laughs> and I called him up and I says, Gary, I says, you know what's going to happen when I fire this motor up, if it'll fire, and as soon as it gets hot, it's going to catch on fire and burn down. <laughs> I says, I got to take the motor out. I says, dude, these cars aren't that rare. Go find a nice one and just pay it. Yes, off. for sure. And, and the and the pans are ripped right down the center. Wow. This is this is a pretty decent project car. Uh huh. If people want to want to bah ha ha. Yeah. I actually I'm thinking about taking the after. Somebody welded up a set of trailing arms for it. That's they got Chevy three quarter ton. Oh geez, those are drive, huge. Disc brakes and rear rear axle on it. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna have to have some serious horsepower to pull it, those meats. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, you know the I'm thinking that says those that follow hard after me, I will make, cause the barns to overflow. Yes. <laughs> I, my wife is, uh, every time I bring home a parts car, I'm like, babe, this is going to save me money in the long this run. the narrow entry. The narrow entry. Okay, I got uh, you. I'm in the process. I've got two sons, and one of them, the youngest one, lives in Portland, and I bought that for him two years ago. It's a, it's a 250 uh, Virago. Okay. 10,000 miles, I was like, no. I'm gonna, <laughs> tomorrow's his birthday, it's his 31st birthday, and I'm going to take it to him. Oh, he nice. Knows, he's happy to have it coming. I was going to ride it to to Portland, but I thought 250cc would kill me riding to Portland. You have... 49-year collection. You, I got some water-cooled dashes. Yes, I do. You have just... You have them stacked in... Yeah. My Amazing. Wife, my wife does numbers for a living, and she came in here and she says, yeah. you need to get organized. I says, I'm organized. I said, you see that? I says, that's where the fan shrouds went. And I said, when that filled up, I said, see these over here? I says, that's the, ne the next stack. And I said, and so it goes throughout the shop. I've got piles of parts. Oh, my goodness. But I do love the cars. Heck, know? yeah. I know. I saw them. I had to stop. I'm like, this is it. I'm stopping. I, I have to. I wish I, I my, wish I got here earlier. I'm, my little uh, caddy is is a diesel. It it's look, not a turbo diesel. It's a nice car. Yeah. I've been trying to sell it. Look, it looks really nice. I know. I saw you pulling. I was like, oh, there he is. I heard you. But uh, I was gonna ride my trike, and I I looked at the sky, and I thought I might be there late. I don't. It might be good. What can you tell me about what? So, you it was a one man shop, or did you have employees, or? No, it's I I tried to employ a kid for pulling parts one time, and and. To be honest with you, I was paying under the table and, and I didn't feel good about it. He didn't feel good about it. And so after a season, I just said, nah, this isn't working. So it's just been you? Just been me. You I know where everything is. I tried to kill my brain with pot and alcohol for years and it didn't work. So what's your plan? What's your plan with all this stuff? Like what? I mean, you have cylinder heads. But both my sons do computers very well. My wife does computers, but... She's not into marketing this stuff for me. And she she won't even come in here. And I said, that's a good, good deal. I'm happy with that because she's one of those things, those women who every other word is unique to. And I love her. I mean, she's, I tease her about dotting the I's and crossing the T's. And she says, yeah, but you love that, don't you? And I said, I do. What? I really enjoy. There's a car under here. Bradley kit car. Oh, okay. I didn't even know there was a car from that side. I was like, wait a minute. GT2. What this took the place of was a 64 Carmen Ghia that I'd restored. 
I got to the point where should I do it, turn it into 12 volt or leave it 6 volt? Because Carmen Gia's would exist on 6 volts okay because they had seal beam headlights, you can see with them. That's sitting right there, waiting for me to finish it. I just had the motor done two years ago. Wow. And uh, I'm kind of slow in my projects, like a lot of people. Most, most of what I got is, is air-cooled stuff. Air-cooled stuff, really, okay. I haven't really gone, oh, I want to save the water cools. Because I got to a point and I thought, and actually, I usually, just like this guy, I just about said, after 93, I won't work on it. Yeah. But that's the computer end of things. I just had, I just replaced a pan on a new Beetle. It was pathetic. This guy calls me up and he says, you, you work on Volkswagens? I says, yeah, but what is it? He says, it's a 99 new Beetle. And he had too low, he smashed the oil pan. And he says, it's the second one in a month. Oh, geez, man. Well, anyway, before I can say, I don't work on cars after 93, he says, I'll give it to you. And I'm going, wow, Volkswagen for free. I, I can't pass that up. <laughs> and uh, anyway, he gives it to me and I says, okay, where's the title? He says, I might have it in a glove box. Is that where you should keep them? And I says, no, that's wow. not a good plan. I says, probably the registration. He says, well, it must be at my mom's house in a, in a, a file. Yep. And I said, that would be the logical place for that. Yes. And he, he says, well, I'll have to get a hold of mom and get the, the and this guy's, he, he he's uh, bipolar. Okay. So if he's not on his meds, he's not making sense. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't realize that, but he's going, he says, I'm going into a Christian thing. And I says, well, Jesus is my Lord too. And he says, well, that sounds good. And yep. anyway, he gives me the car. And what's happened is it's sitting alongside the road. It needs a tow, and he's got no money to tow oh, it. Geez. So he gives me the car. It's sitting right, right beside a buddy of mine's house. Yeah. Buddy, buddy builds cars. <laughs> and he told me, he says, Bobby, you ever need a, a diesel truck with a trailer? I got one. <laughs> and so when the, when the deal finally gets finalized, I call up my buddy and say, hey, man, you want to help me move that car that's sitting across from your house? And he says, sure. Let's do it tomorrow. I went, great, we'll do it. And so I went up there, we loaded it up, brought it down here, and I says, okay, how much can I pay you? He says, he's got a rat rod with twin, it, with twin turbos on it, it, but it's got a, uh, an Isuzu diesel motor out of a truck. Whoa, what? Yeah. This is some serious horsepower car, and it's an old truck body that's on the ground, and airbags that sit on the Jeez. ground when he's not driving it. And it's to die for. And he, he took it to, to uh, oh, yeah, anyway, he took it to a big rod run in, in Las Vegas and, and trophy. So he wants to build a bucket T with a 1.6 with a turbo on it. And I told him, I says, you can't just strap a turbo on any old 1.6. You've got to have the squirters underneath the pistons to cool the yep. pistons. Yep. And I said, I, I said, what you really need is a 1.9 TDI motor. Yeah. And and he says, I got lots of turbos. I'm not worried about getting the turbo. I said, no, I mean, they're made for turbos. And, yeah. And I that's... said, you produce some serious horsepower. And that's what he likes is a light car that just goes. I'll get out of here. I feel bad for that kid. He needs that fix. Who knows how long it's going to take or what's going on with that. But, um. Well, I got the first one I ever did. I, I ordered a gasket. And they says, they don't make gaskets. And I says, well, what do they do? And they says, they rhymes seal. Oh, oh there's 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 a reason, and that's what, well, oh, I didn't finish the, the New Beetle story. So his mom and dad are on, on a trip. Yeah. They get back, and, and first thing that happens was the, the, they call it Five Rocks Ranch that he's going to. And they've, he's been there before, and this lady calls me up, and she says, what's he need to, to, 